Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own digital clone. Now, if you're on social media, you know, like how AI is going really crazy right now and everybody's doing all these cool things. So I'm going to show you exactly how people are cloning themselves to create content. So the first thing you want to do is log into Higgsfield.ai. And before we get into the fun stuff, you have to choose a plan. So I'm just going to quickly go over um, what the pricing looks like for Higgsfield. So you can choose yearly plans or you could choose a monthly plan. If you're just starting out, I definitely recommend just choosing a monthly plan. You can try um, the basic if you're just experimenting. You could go with pro if you know you're going to create more than just a little bit of like images or videos. And then you can choose ultimate if you know like you're committed to this. <laughs> so for me, I'm committed to this. So I <laughs> chose the ultimate plan. But if you're just starting out, the basic is really good if you you just want to experiment and it's only nine dollars a month and pro is the next level if you know you're going to do more than just experiment so personally i would go with either the pro or the ultimate plan i think those two will give you the best buck like the best amount for your buck the creator plan 249 that's a big jump it does give you six thousand credits but like I wouldn't even use this. <laughs> so I think like, like, I don't think you really need it unless like you're getting paid to create things. But other than, yeah, other than that, I think either, either one is good. So once you choose a plan, we can start creating. So to create your clone, you first have to create a character. So you would click into this tab. Now I already have a few trained as you can see. So I'm just going to take you through the basics of how to do it. And it's really easy. All you have to do is click on create a character and then upload 20 plus images. I would even recommend more than like 20. I would even go like 30, 40 because the more images you feed the software, the better because you don't want to, um, only upload like a few images and then when you go to generate your face doesn't really look like you so that's why like the more images you can provide the better and it also tells you what type of photos not to upload so like for instance you don't want any photos where you have filters on it you don't want any photos where you can't really see your face like you want to make sure you have a clear mug so that the software can really pick up what you look like. Now, if you were born, like if you were not born, but like if you were part of the Snapchat era, like me, <laughs> if you go through your photo album and you're seeing like a bunch of like filtered pics, you're just gonna have to take some new ones. Like literally I went outside one day. I was like, okay, I really want to do this. So I went outside. I waited till like it was a bright sunny day and that's a that's another tip if you are melanated you need good lighting you really do because if you were to take pictures like right now where like the lighting is not that bright you're gonna look washed out you're gonna get the best quality if you have like bright i would even say like sun drenched natural lighting it'll really make your skin pop and once I click on upload, upload images, I'll show you an example, but you really want that like bright sunlit look so that the software can pick up your skin tone. So when we click on upload images, I already have like a folder with all of the images that I already looked into. Now, another tip too is the software is very literal. So you have to be careful what you're feeding it you want to definitely feed it the aesthetic you're going for so if you want lux like a luxurious aesthetic make sure you have images where you look luxurious if you um have photos where you're made up with makeup and you have long hair like your hair is done and everything that's what your twin's gonna look like but if you um upload photos where you're like bare face and you're just in your natural element the, that's what your clone is going to look like so you want to make sure you're uploading images like this is this is not magic it's going to give you what you give it basically so like for me i wanted it to i want my clone to look when i'm like done up and made up so i made sure my makeup was done in most of my photos and i would say like don't upload ones where you're like full full glam because then it kind of leans close into that that filter look if you upload um photos with filters on it like 
it says not to do that because you will look cartoonish like you will start to look airbrushed and not in a good way yeah so you want to make sure you're uploading um, photos with really good lighting the aesthetic that you want the look that you're going for that way your clone looks the way that you want it to look so i would just upload my images like this and basically wait for it to upload it takes like a minute or two for it to um get into the system but yeah <laughs> You don't want to basically do any of these things. No duplicates, no group shots. Make sure you're the only person in the photo. No pets, obviously no nudes, no filters, nothing covering your face. Just, you know, just you, just you. So once you have basically all your images uploaded loaded like me, like I said, I woke up one morning and it's just like, let me take some pictures in the sunlight. One thing I did make a mistake of, if you're gonna do this, don't do one outfit change your outfit you have to give a little bit of variety because if you just if you're just in this one outfit this one outfit will show up in all of your um, images and your videos so make sure you give a little bit of variety but other than that like that's basically the basics of like the photos you should choose now if you want like a deeper understanding of um the images and like the aesthetics and how to like choose the best i guess images for the software to understand what you're going for i do have a master class that you can um learn from that i took i'm not the creator of it but like i did um take a course from someone else who is really into higgs field and understands like the mechanics of it so if you're interested in going deeper into it i'll put that in the description but other than that you just upload your images and you'll get a rating um, for your image count if you uploaded enough images and you'll get a rating for the average quality of your images so as long as it says excellent you're good to go and then you can enter in your name because what is some like grace that is not my name so you put in your name and then you click generate and what i really like is like it's only 30 credits if you um are used to ai softwares like open art free pick um clean ai they charge you like thousands of credits just to do a simple well i guess it's not simple but just to do this they charge you thousands of credits so if you do make a mistake and you need to redo it it's only 30 credits so i really like that now i already have this trained so i don't need to do it again but basically once it's trained it will end up here and then you can choose um whichever one you want to generate so or whichever one you want to use to generate your images so you just click on generate and then it'll take you here so here i've already um played around with a few of um my characters so i was just doing like a beach like a uh, summer aesthetic because it is summertime right now and look at how these images turned out now if you're wondering how do you like get these ideas basically you just write a prompt in this section right here describing the idea that you want now for prompting i wouldn't say it's simple there's like an art to it so you actually have to understand um the structure of a prompt now if you're new to prompts i do have um a pdf guide of a bunch of prompts that i've written for higgs field and other um softwares like chat gpt so for instance this image prompt right here um let me see is on this page so I have a PDF that you can get the image prompt to create the images as well as the animation prompt so you can turn your image into a video. So I'll show you that too. So if you're interested in getting that, I'll also put the link in the description. It's right here. You can um, grab it so that you can get some ideas for your prompts. You can get an idea of how to structure your prompts, how to write your prompts. So I feel like this is a really great resource that you can reference. but. Beyond that, um, how this works is you just copy it like this. Oops. You copy it in, you paste in your prompt, and then you just change any details that um, relate to you. So for me, I don't have tan skin, so I would just put brown skin. Um, I also like to put my name. So instead of woman, I'll put my name so that the software can recognize that it's me we're talking about i don't 
I don't know how to explain why I do that, but it helps to, um, it helps for like familiarity. Like if you use chat GPT, you understand like, the more you plug in things, the more it references it. So that's why I put my name. And then anything else you wanna change, you can just change and then you can choose your model. I like to stick with the Higgsfield Soul model, but they also have Flux and ChatGPT inside here. So you can switch between those two. You can also change the size. You can um, choose the quality. And then here's where you input your character. So I already have my character in there. And here you can choose um, preset style. So you can have a realistic style if you wanted to do like a Tokyo street style, even like a Y2K style. There's so many different styles you could choose from, but I personally just like iPhone. So I select, I just stick, I just stick with iPhone. And then when you generate it, it takes about like um, one to two minutes to generate. But um, while that's generating, I guess I could show you what it looks like to create a video. So for instance, you could click on any image that you want you can select video and it'll take you to the video space. And just like how you were able to choose a style with the images, you can even choose um, styles for your videos, which is also pretty cool because you don't necessarily need a prompt to create a video. But if you wanted like a specific thing to happen inside your video, you can write a prompt for that too. But with my prompt vault guide, I again, I give you the image prompt and the animation prompt so that you have both. But here's just an example of one of the videos I used or created with one of their um, VFX, VFX effects. So this was like an aerial shot and it basically showed me climbing up and then the background of whatever's going on. But yeah, I find that pretty cool. I find that pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then if you go back to the homepage, there's so much more you can do with this. Like you could do, you could create images, you can create videos, you can even create talking videos, you can um, create UGC videos. So there's a lot to play around with. Now, I basically just went over how to create your clone, but if you want to like take it a little bit further, I would definitely recommend, um, looking at AI style secrets. This is a masterclass in Higgsfield and will like take you through everything you need to know. So if you are watching this video and, are, and you're just like, I need to know more, this is the course I would take. So I'll put this one in the description below, but that's pretty much all to Higgsfield. It's very simple, very straightforward, very easy to do, very beginner friendly. So if you create your clone, well, you could create your clone in like five to 10 minutes and then literally just start creating images and videos. So this one's still in the queue, this is still, but okay, it just um, created itself. Or is this the same one? Oh, it's the same images, Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, you can have fun with like the images you create. Like I've just been creating images all day. <laughs> Um, and then if you go to your videos, you can um, play around with the video effects. And that's basically, that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions about anything I went over, you can comment in the, the description below and I'll comment back. And I guess that's all for today. Bye.